If you didn't already know, Larry Williams is one of the great traders of our generation. He wrote many books, he won competitions, he is still trading successfully till today. In this video, I will show you one of his simplest strategies called Turnaround Tuesdays. Also, as a bonus, I will throw in another simple strategy by Larry Williams. So, let's jump in. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and thank you for joining me on Sideways' channel where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading and everything else in between. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that I post on this channel. So like I mentioned, Larry Williams is one of the great traders of our generation. He still trades till today and actually many of his strategies still function till today. Now one of his simplest strategies called Turnaround Tuesday. Basically it looks for big down days on Monday on the S&P 500 index and then he will buy uh, Tuesdays when it breaks the high of Monday. As usual I try to <laughs> add my own flavor to every idea, every strategy that I go through uh, hopefully to enhance it but plus to put my signature on it and today's is no different so I will sprinkle some of my KC dust on this strategy so if we look at the S&P 500 uh, this is the, the daily data and if I switch on day of the week so this highlights uh, every day of the uh, not every day this highlights Mondays and we are looking for something like this so when Monday is a big down day we are looking to buy Tuesdays if it breaks the high of Monday. Now, I term the strategy as a intraday trading strategy. So that's my change. So what I will do here is I will buy the open, sell at the close, and that's it. So for example here, as you can see, that doesn't count. This one doesn't count. This one counts. The big down day on Monday we buy the open sell the close of Tuesday. So the way we will identify big down days on Monday is through ATR. Because ATR basically measures the volatility and we can have really a good mathematical way to identify big down days. Of course, you can go with absolute points. Uh, anything that works for you is fine as long as basically Monday needs to be different than all other Mondays in terms of its range. So here I wrote the code in strategy quant X algo wizard and let me explain it. So first of all we have two charts. We have one intraday and one daily chart and the reason for the daily chart is basically we have some calculations done on that chart. So for example we are looking for a down day so the close smaller than the open of the daily chart. Also we are looking for the range to be greater than a multiplier of ATR and the ATR is also on the daily chart. Of course, the buy range is also on the daily chart. And then we are looking for the close of the daily chart to be greater than the 200 day moving average of the daily chart. The only thing we are doing on the intraday chart is trading. So we are trading the next day, which is Tuesday. And therefore all these charts are shifted by one, all these calculations. Also, we are trading intraday, so we are entering at 8.30 and exiting at 3 p.m. as this is the future session. And we are trading one fixed contract size. And I have data since 2009. So as you can see, I'm here, I'm trading the five minutes and the second chart is the daily time. And here is the return of this strategy. And so we don't have a lot of trades. It's 87 trades since 2009. 22% drawdown with an average trade of 236 and don't worry about the compound annual growth rate because really we are holding one day and look at this 8 trades, 9 trades, 7 trades so we are averaging about 6 to 7 trades per year so really the uh, that, that's leave our capital totally open for other trades for other strategies during the year so originally the strategy is not an intraday strategy but i limited the strategy to one day but uh, we can extend that to only another day actually only the overnight and the logic behind it if tuesday happened to be an up day then most likely it would continue throughout the overnight session now I don't want to complicate things in the code by because theoretically we should be looking for the close of Tuesday higher than the open of Tuesday but we're just going to extend 
the exit till Wednesday open. So here I changed the code that we will enter at 8.30 and we will exit on Wednesday 9.30 and now we don't have this limited time range and exit on close and the strategy is actually performs much better now we make five thousand dollars more on the original 17 uh, something so that's a huge bump and you can see it of course from the return to drawdown ratio and now the open drawdown is 28 percent to 97 average trade and now the exposure is just like a <laughs> touch up because now we're actually holding literally one day from Tuesday open till Wednesday open so it's only 24 hours still same number of trades so that didn't change we're only holding uh, more hours so I love these kind of strategies because the code is really old and actually what all these years are out of sample since 2009 uh, in fact Larry Williams traded this in the 80s so in fact we have uh, 30 years out of sample so I love them very much also because the exposure is so little that uh, you know the, the less you are in the market the better uh, because you avoid hopefully uh, big shocks but also your capital is available to trade other strategies and now here is the bonus strategy again from larry williams this one is even simpler than the last one so basically we will go long on the s&p 5 of course i have to preface this because if you're watching this channel you already know this but just in case you are a new viewer the s p 500 index uh, have a huge bias on the upside as all stocks do in the us uh, but mainly this bias makes the index drift up all the time with huge shocks and this simple strategy from larry williams capitalize on this so basically it looks for two-day drawdown while we are in an uptrend so this is the strategy the close today is lower than the close two days ago and the close today is higher than the close 200 days ago so this close greater than 200 days ago verifies that we are in an uptrend and this is just a pullback now the exit is only a profit target and a stop loss so this will equate to two thousand dollars profit uh, target and three thousand dollars stop loss and the strategy does really well but i want to uh, let you know that you need to keep this in mind when you're doing these kind of strategies with a profit target and a stop loss usually those profit target and stop loss are based on the last five six years maybe because if you go back in time obviously the point that the stock move does not reflect the same point that we have today so the es used to move let's say five points the range of the bar was five points maybe 20 years ago and today it's even though it's less volatility than 20 years ago but now the range the average range let's say is 10 points so therefore when you put a profit target or a stop loss in dollars most likely then this is optimized for you know last three years let's say so just keep this in mind of course the strategy will work but you know the uh, the numbers will be skewed the further back you go and you can see this how in the beginning in 2009 look at the bars and trade so this is the number of days we are in the trade you know they are all big and then but we look at later years you can see that you know mostly we are one day three days maximum is five days here this stop loss and uh, profit target is based on the later years and when you see a bigger number like this one for example uh, these are gaps so because the price opened with a gap against you so you lose more than three thousand and uh, the same thing here you make uh, more than two thousand and there you go two very simple strategies that you can combine with other strategies that have very low exposure so you can use the same capital to trade uh, many strategies of course most of these strategies will be correlated on the dow and sometimes on the nasdaq and the russell uh, 2000 because all the u.s indexes usually have a drift to the upside with big shocks to the downside so i hope this was useful to you if you have any questions any comments please do so below the video and i'll be more than happy to answer you i do read and answer all questions sent to the channel and if you want to take this further and learn more you are most welcome to join our discord server through the link below where i hold live weekly questions and answer sessions alongside the code for strategies like this that are available for
for free in the server. Don't forget to smash the like button so Google Algos can push this video to other traders so they can benefit from these strategies. And as always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.